gonna try and be smooth with it a little bit, you feel me? Brother, she asked me if I needed a bag. In English. I said hi. No, she asked me in Japanese, I knew what she said. She's like, need a bag? Yes, I need a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna... Oh, by the way, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> um, we're gonna find somewhere to sit down and eat real quick, because you don't really walk and eat and drink here. Um, and then we're gonna be hopping on the train, so... Let's get to it. We have made it to Yokohama. You can tell that this is a little bit different than the uh, main streets that we've been walking on or the main uh, city like Aki or some of the Tokyo area. Um, it's a lot more rural. You're gonna have older buildings, you're gonna have older technology, but it's kind of nice because it seems a bit more roomy. I mean, roomy, homey. It seems a lot more homey when you come places like this. Usually older people, um, older cars, you know, older back roads. It's it's really nice and sometimes it's refreshing, but it is cool seeing you get a lot more mountain kind of areas, hilly areas. Uh, you get stuff that, you know, houses and homes and businesses up there. We're walking up close towards a tunnel. I don't know if we're gonna be walking towards the tunnel or not, but that homes up top, homes in the split building. And that's insane, look at this tiny little V building. I think we've seen videos of people living in these kinds and you have to walk up a ladder that's like just big enough for one person to fit. It's insane. So in Japan, not only outskirts, but in the main city, you will find buildings like this either the road was here first, or other buildings were there, and because the road had to be split off, they will make buildings like this that accompany the size and space that you have. So just imagine going through that door, walking up a tiny little area, and this width is the width of uh, one person. It's amazing. Uh, I was going to say, not only did we just see Homeboy cleaning his bends, the reason why cars are so clean here, how well people keep their stuff, we're just walking down the street. Mm. Look at this. Mm. If you guys watched one of the older vlogs when we went to Team Lab, Team Lab Tokyo, uh, this was the red car, well, the same car, not identical, but same car that was driving down the street and uh, Jalil was spazzing out about it. Bro, this, I, the thing is, all right, so this is supposed to be like the predecessor to like the Evo, like in Lancia Delta Integrale. Like this is an expensive car. Like, I mean, it depends. You could get this car for a hundred grand and it's just sitting in a goddamn underground lot, like in the middle of fucking nowhere. I mean, don't mind the Celica on the side, but brother, super cool. Reminds me of the old uh, square Audis. Um, like the Quattros and yeah, 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 yeah. And even a, uh, a Mark II front. And the hella lights, being that there's big and small lights, yeah. reminds me of like the, when you get like the two up front, it's kind of what it reminds me of here. We have made it to the back of Moon Eyes. Uh, if, again, if you guys have not seen the other vlogs, this is Moon Eyes Garage, uh, where they work on the cars and store some stuff. They've got some pretty cool stuff out back and uh, the cafe is right around the corner. 
But what we like to do before going and eating and buying a bunch of stuff we don't need, going to this back lot where they kind of have, I guess, storage. I'm turning this way because it might block the wind a little bit better. It's just a back lot. I can see a Bel Air over there, um, a couple other cool cars. And then I think these are the cars that they usually use, whether it's for media or transport or what, because it's kind of the same stuff. So you've got a splitty, you've got a high ace, you've got an old Toyota truck. This one still reminds me of Toy Story, the little pizza truck. So funny. A little Subaru, I think, what is that? Legacy in the States. Same little Daihatsu midget is what this is called, I believe. And then <laughs> the same lightning and box truck as before. The crown wagon is really cool. Saying this stuff. Oh yeah, T-Bucket was here before, covered just like last time. We won't get too close out of respect, but they're actually unloading that right now. I thought this was a Bel Air at first, but it's just a Chevy, not panel wagon. I guess you would just call it a wagon. Can't really think of the name right now, but really cool. Reflects a lot walking there with the goddamn Moon Eyes jacket on. See, don't you see it though? I'm doing like a little wardrobe, wardrobe change, you know. I want them to notice me. Mm. Mommy. <laughs> Why is that American getting naked? Get change I've ever <clears throat> seen. Brother, you wouldn't understand, right? Mm, I guess not. You don't got the flow, right? I don't got the flow. Let me get a little from the from the back so I can get the little moon eyes with the moon eyes. The little moon eyes with the moon eyes. Yeah. And a hundred thou million badrillion dollars later, we are leaving Happy Men. He, he probably saw how much we spent and said, you'll want to take a picture. So everybody right now, go to Moon Eyes Japan, find the picture of Jalil and I, and comment. Comment something funny. Comment, uh, what can we say? What can we say Rob and oh, Big? Oh, yes. Rob and Big. Rob go and comment Big. Rob and Big and uh, I'll make sure that I keep checking it up and uh, like in all of your comments. I think that'll, that'll be pretty funny too, especially if they see and catch on to it. But uh, before we left, I just wanted to show you guys some of the automotive side. They drive all of these vehicles. I don't know if this is the parts van or what. This thing is always here. Uh, about two hours ago, that dually was sitting right here. Uh, and it's just, it's so sick. Look at this, twins. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what they got going on here. Pinstriping, painting, really, really cool. Duos and twins. Which one you taking? Out of what? The whole lot? No, the white or the yellow? You know I'm taking the yellow one. Yeah. I picked the same, but guess what? I'm taking it first. So sick. I only could dream of having a shop that's like this setup, clean, cool. Bunch of doodads. I mean, imagine just, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just in awe, super sick. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys come to Moon Eyes, Yokohama. Uh, it is less than an hour train, walking, everything to get there from uh, Tokyo. So no matter where you are staying, it's worth the trip, I promise. I think we're at least gonna go back to the hotel and figure our situation from there. So I'll see you guys a little later this evening. Mmm, what does that mean? There you go. Getting mad famous right now. People are probably looking at 
you <laughs> filming me. I'm just. I mean, are you not Mr. OZ? Sorry? Are you not Mr. OZ? No, I'm Mr. OG. Mmm. Mmm. Got the goodies, my boy. Talk to me. Sorry? Got the goodies, my boy. Talk to me. This is 100 a G, bro. That's how good that pack is. 100, 100 a G. Guess what? Ain't no lines at my spot. <laughs> I'll eat it. Ah! Bro. Mmm, with the hair too. Come on, buddy. Plus, I'm recording you fucking gargling that shit, you know. A real deep throat mm. shit. Bro. Like, you guys don't know how good this is. Mmm. We just meet a random friend, so you know. Yeah. Bro, this is crazy. And an evening out in Shibuya. As you can see, everybody has their phones. This is Shibuya Crossing. I am going to be one of the foreigners with my recording device out, but... <laughs> oh shit, Han's coming! So, it is about, what, 6.30? Oh, that's sick. Oh, uh, Jimmy. So it is 6.30, people are getting off work, uh, people are starting to drink, people are starting to go out, and some people are already plastered. You guys can see how many people are out right now. We came here the other day, a fourth of the people just on a normal night, but we're walking through the busy part. This is where the food's gonna be, this is where everything is. Oh, we had some like, a crackhead guy coming up pulling on us. They don't really have drug problem like that here. Um, so maybe just mentally ill, but he was grabbing on us, like touching with like in all kinds of ways. I don't know what he was asking for, but uh, but yeah, we are here, Shibuya. People everywhere, lights everywhere, promotion everywhere, and food everywhere. Yes, sir. Decided to come out for a little bev. They ended up having some uh, Mexican food here, taco spot, which last time we were here, we did come to this spot. We, we just didn't get the food though. So I got, uh, well, did you see one's missing? I got fucking chorizo and then uh, carnitas. And then he said, do you like spicy? Like, Hell yeah, I like spicy. So I recommend this one. Brother. That shit is not kicking. Bro, he's lying. Like, he, bro, he he had to go inside, drink water, went to the bathroom, threw up, like, vomit, projectile, like, sweating, like, don't let the camera fool you, but... You're fooled. Bro, what? How did an OZ sticker get halfway across the world? That's insane. This gives you guys a pretty good view of the elevation changes you got flat and you got stuff like this you got to walk really steep down cool neon lights little stores everywhere you got stores that go all the way up and then you got stores that go all the way down so pretty pretty cool but sometimes it sucks walking up the hill just yeah, to, walking down is sweet but walking yeah. up boy. 